hello guys welcome to our channel again the channel is Nazbin and kindly if you have not subscribed I want to encourage you that you get to subscribe because this is where we get to share matters medical in a simple language which we can always understand without necessarily engaging in a medical jargon uh, which can be which some of us may not really understand very well so guys uh, today we are going to talk about a very sensitive topic also and uh, if you have not uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel guys uh, I want to encourage you really encourage you so that you get to subscribe because matters as sensitive as sex we want to discuss them here because this really affects our life and today we are going to talk about something very essential and when we talk about matters essential we're talking about why men should have regular sexual intercourse, why men should have regular uh, sexual intercourse. That's what our topic for today, and I'm going to give you uh, that reason. So regular sexual intercourse can provide various physical, psychological, and relationship benefits for men, and I'm going to name uh, some of those benefits. So number one is about improved cardiovascular health. That is very key for men. So men, I want to encourage you that you get to involve yourself in, uh, uh, that, in, the, in, the, in, in that uh, uh, sexual thing because it gets to improve your cardiovascular health. And when you talk about cardiovascular, we're talking about your heart. So your heart, you want it to be health. Regular sexual activity can improve your heart's health by decreasing their heart rate and also improve uh, circulation at the end of the day. So with the regular... Uh, regular physical, regular sexual activity, you get to improve your sexual activity, your heart uh, health. Number two is about enhanced uh, immune function. Regular sex can be associated with the high level of uh, IgA or hemoglobin A, which can strengthen the immune system. Reduced stress and anxiety is also another third benefit where you sexual active triggers release of endorphins and also oxytocin in men, when, which reduce uh, stress levels and also improve uh, the mood of one at that particular point. Number four is about improved sleep quality. The relaxation and also hormone released during the sexual activity can promote sleep, aiding in overall health and also recovery. I think men do very well with this improved sleep and quality of sexual activity. I don't know if men you experience this, but personally I think I experience this increased quality of sleep with the sexual thing. So that is very healthy. So if you are experiencing this, just know uh, that is very, uh, very healthy. So increased relationship satisfaction. Okay. Guys, welcome to our video. Uh, when we talk about improved quality of sleep, the relaxation hormones released during this activity, uh, they help uh, one to, to have good sleep or a quality sleep, aiding in overall rest and also a recovery at the end of the day. So that's very key, guys. Uh, when we talk about uh, also, we talk about increased relationship satisfaction. So regular sexual activity can strengthen the emotional bond and also intimacy between the partners, contributing to a more fulfilling uh, relationship at the end of the day, which can help uh, one have its uh, uh, fulfilling relationship. Enhanced libido and also function is also another thing where we get to help ourselves, where, where we, we talk about uh, uh, maintaining an active sex life and also help sustain sexual desire and function, potentially reducing issues like erectile uh, dysfunction at the end of the day. Pain relief is also another thing where you get that sexual activity can help alleviate certain types of pain due to release of endorphins, which can act as natural uh, painkillers at the end of the day. Also, uh, very key, improving self-esteem is also where we get uh, to improve your body image. A healthy sexual life can boost confidence and also improve body image, contributing to overall self-esteem. Hormonal balance for men, where regular sexual activity can help maintain balanced hormonal levels, including the testosterone, which is very important for various uh, bodily functions. Uh, so that is very that's very key, where we get uh, uh, so where we get uh, to help ourselves. 
So uh, prostate health is also another benefit, number 10, for men, where regular ejaculation may help reduce the risk of uh, 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 prostate problems, including prostate cancer and also promoting the health prostate function. Prostate, uh, so enhanced cognitive function is also another benefit which men get from this. Some studies suggest that regular uh, sexual activity is associated with better cognitive and also function and maintaining uh, health. So also strength, strengthening of the pelvic floor muscles. Sexual activity can help tone and strengthen the pelvic floor muscles as much as possible, which are very important for urinary uh, uh, function and also sexual health at the end of the day. Uh, regular sexual intercourse offers a range of benefits that contribute to physical, uh, emotional, well-being, and also uh, uh, relationship satisfaction. It supports cardiovascular health, immune function, stress reduction, and also which enhance uh, self-esteem and also intimacy. By maintaining health, sex, uh, life, life can play a very crucial role in overall uh, quality of life and also well-being at the end of the day. So how you, as a man, how are you supposed to manage your sexual health? Effective management of the sexual health, it involves a lot of things. Number one is about maintaining a balanced diet, addressing any health issues, and also promptly and seeking appropriate medical care where it is very necessary. So I'm going to give a comprehensive approach to managing the sexual health for optimal benefits for men. Regular medical checkups is a key thing for men where we schedule your annual visits with the healthcare provider to monitor your health, uh, your health as much as possible for early detection and management of potential issues affecting your sexual health. Number two is about open communication with your partner, where you maintain honest and open communication with your partner about your sexual needs, desires, and also concerns. This enhances intimacy, reduces a lot of misunderstandings, improves relationships, and also uh, it brings about uh, satisfaction at the end of the day. So health, lifestyle choices is also another thing, number three, which you can do, where you take a balanced diet, eating fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins to support overall health and also the sexual function. So, and also at the, when we talk about this, we also talk about the exercise, where you engage in regular physical activities to improve the uh, cardiovascular health and maintain healthy weight, it's very key. Ensure adequate sleep to support overall well-being and also hormonal balance at the end of the day. So the benefit of this is you reduce, you ensure that uh, also adequate sleep for overall well-being and also hormonal balance. Stress management is also another key which you use. By practicing uh, stress reducing techniques, we talk about meditation, we talk about yoga, we talk about uh, deep breathing exercises. The benefit of this, it impacts of stress on uh, sexual health is very, very detrimental. So and overall uh, mental well-being is very key in sexual performance for men. Address electrical dysfunction and other issues. Where you, how do you address them? You seek medical advice and also experience, when you're experiencing the sexual dysfunction or sexual health issues. So the benefit of this, professional treatment options are available to manage the, and improve your sexual function. So also managing uh, chronic health conditions. Effectively manage, uh, especially if you are, have these chronic illnesses, uh, like diabetes, hypertension, and cardiovascular issues, the benefit of this, you prevent uh, complications that can really impact you as a man to function sexually. Maintaining hormonal balance is another thing. So consult with the healthcare provider if experiencing the uh, effects of hormonal imbalances. And I, I did a video on uh, hormonal imbalance in men and it is effects such as when they have low testosterone. Kindly, if you have, no, you have forgotten about that video, go back. If you have not watched, kindly watch the video. It really shares a lot about hormonal balance, especially the low testosterone and its effects in a male function. So proper management of hormone, hormones issues, they support overall sexual health at the end of the day. Regular, uh, uh, regular uh, sexual activity is very key. Engage in regular sexual activity to maintain sexual function and also intimacy where you get to benefit of cardiovascular health, hormonal balance, and also emotional connection, which is very key in your relationship. Also very key, uh, uh, seek psychological support.
where you get uh, consider therapy or counseling if you're experiencing psychological issues affecting your sexual health. The benefit of this, you get your, to be addressed any underlying condition or mental health concerns to improve your sexual well-being. Avoid substance abuse. This affects a lot of men. Substance abuse is a very is not a good or interesting thing about your sexual health. So limit or uh, avoid alcohol and recreational drugs, which can affect your your sexual health at the end of the day. So this way you promote proactive management of awareness and also uh, 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 overall health and also prevent negative effect on the sexual function. Educating yourself, such as watching Nazwin channel, stay informed about sexual health, safe practices, and available treatments. This promotes proactive management and awareness of sexual health issues. Guys, that's very key. You educate yourself through reliable sources of information about your sexual health. Effective management of sexual health requires a holistic approach. Uh, and very key also, address relationship issues. Work on solving any relationship conflicts or issues uh, which may, may impact your sexual health. This enhances emotional intimacy and also sexual uh, satisfaction at the end of the day. So effective management of sexual uh, health requires holistic approach that includes medical checkups, health lifestyle, corporate communication with your partner, addressing any sexual health issues promptly. So by maintaining the overall health and maintaining and managing stress as appropriate, seeking professional help uh, when needed, individual can enjoy emotional, uh, physical, and also relationship benefits of health uh, sex lifestyles. Unfortunately, sometimes we have complications related to your poor sexual health management as men. Failure to effectively manage this sexual health uh, uh, can lead to various complications which can impact the physical health and also emotional well-being relationships and some of those uh, potential complications which can come about they include erectile dysfunction or ED. I did a video on erectile dysfunction kindly if you have not watched it I want to encourage you to go back and watch it in Nazvin channel uh, we did a detailed thing about ED this causes and it is impact so as a complication of uh, poor management of sexual health management, we have erectile dysfunction, and some of the erectile dysfunction problems can be reversible or irreversible at the end of the day. So persistent inability to achieve or maintain an erection, that's what we're talking about. So the impact of this uh, can be decreased sexual satisfaction, relationship stress, and a diminished self-esteem on men. Reduced libido is also another thing. Decreased interest in sexual activity, that's what we mean. So constrain the relationships and affect the overall quality of life at the end of the day. So relationship strain, this can, uh, as a complication, because communication issues, issues come up, intimate problems crop up, and unsolved uh, conflicts also come up. The impact of this, uh, the potential uh, deterioration of the relationship and the emotional distress at the end of the day. So psychological issues, we may have uh, communication issues, uh, we may have uh, uh, unresolved conflicts. This can lead to potential deterioration of relationships and emotional distress. Psychological issues, we have anxiety coming in, we have depression and low self-esteem related to sexual performance or health. This further exacerbates the sexual health problems and overall uh, well-being of an individual at the end of the day. Sexual transmitted infections has a complication where we have uh, infection transmitted through, through sexual activities such as chlamydia, we have gonorrhea, we have HIV. These health complica complications uh, brings about discomfort and also potential uh, transmission to their partners at the end of the day. And intended pregnancy is also another thing, resulting in an, uh, because, because they resulting from unprotected sexual activity. Emotional and financial stress comes in, relationship challenges and also potential changes can also come up. Hormonal imbalances can also crop up as a complication. Conditions like low testosterone or thyroid imbalances affect sexual function and mood and overall health. Uh, in men, we have an organ called a prostate. I, I, previously, I did a video on uh, PPH uh, or benign prostate hypertrophy. Uh, we can have a look at it. So when we have uh, 
when we talk about prostate problems, conditions such as uh, prostate, prostatitis or benign prostate hyperplasia can, uh, can come up, which can cause pain, urinary issues, and impact the overall uh, sexual health. So uh, this are, that's also another complication. Chronic pain is also the persistent pain during or after sexual activity. This can reduce uh, satisfaction and can lead to avoidance of sexual activity altogether. Fertility issues, problems with sperm production or sexual function affecting the fertility can cr crop up, challenging with the challenges with the co uh, conception or conceiving and potential stress at the end of the day. Decreased sexual activity is also another one. Sexual satisfaction is also another one where you reduce, there is reduced uh, pleasure or difficulty in achieving satisfaction during the sexual activity. This affects the sex, uh, self-esteem and the relationship uh, satisfaction. Social isolation comes in as a complication where withdrawal from social and uh, sexual activities due to embarrassment or health issues. This can lead to loneliness and also diminished uh, quality of life. You find that men, when they have these sexual challenges, they even move to a different room to sleep there so that they are a way of uh, protecting themselves from the shame and also other issues. So this can lead to loneliness and diminished quality of life. Increased risk of chronic uh, conditions. Uh, so conditions such as cardiovascular disease linked to poor sexual health, further health, further health complications uh, can be, can, can, and reduce overall well-being comes up. Poor body image also is another complication where negative self-perception related to sexual health and physical appearance uh, crops in. So this affects the confidence and also can contribute to psychological issues at the end of the day. Reduced quality of life is another complication where we may have neglecting sexual health which can lead to complications affecting the physical health, psychological well-being and also relationship. Addressing the sexual health issues proactively through uh, lifestyle changes uh, and also uh, re relationships. So uh, medical treatment and open communication, they can help prevent uh, these uh, complications. So on preventing of the sexual health complications uh, uh, is by adopting a health lifestyle. Like I've mentioned about regular checkups, the, where you schedule annual physical exams and screening with the healthcare provider for early detection and also could, which could impact uh, and the issues that could impact your sexual health. Open communication with your partner is also another thing where you discuss